This nine foot high, eight mile long wall containing around five million bricks was built in 1637 by a rather selfish English king and it's still here. Inside is London's own National Nature Reserve. It's my home. Uh, it's, I live within half a mile of it and uh, it's a part of my life. Since the 16th century you've been able to see London sit over there and there is a certain um, a certain piquancy in seeing that you there you have really wild areas and it is within the, the, the site of the city. Uh, and there are lots of places like that around the world. Uh, and in, in, when the fact that you see uh, skyscrapers on the skyline should make you to be keener than ever to realize how precious uh, this, this particular oasis is. Certainly the reason we made it, or the reason the, the Friends of Richmond Park made it, was that they wanted, they recognized that the park is becoming more and more popular, more and more people. And if it's to retain its quality and its, uh, its variety, and it, then in fact there's a danger that um, those things will be damaged by the more people come. Therefore, it won't be so if people behave uh, according to some simple rules. It's because you can see what damage you, you, you can do to the environment if you're not careful. But if, if people do brave those simple rules of, of bring nothing and take nothing away, it'll be all right. Now, of course, all our parks require care for, and the more funding they get, the better they will be cared for, to some degree. That's a bit of a generalization. But certainly, it doesn't come for nothing. Uh, and, uh, and, and Richmond is... Uh, I don't think we should be complaining that we're being neglected. But the friends of Richmond Park are there to raise funds in order to do projects that will improve the place. So the, 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 uh, the uh, d dangers and the problems are increasing. So we have to, to be, our efforts to solve them have to increase. Come and explore it with me.